and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. In this video, I'll go and answer a question that keeps being asked on the Fuji Facebook groups. That's about SD cards. Now I did do a video on SD cards in Fuji cameras before. I'll put the link up somewhere up here, or it might be over here, wherever it pops out. But I thought, do a bit of an update. Now, first off, if you've got uh, a new XS10, or you've got an XT30, or something like that, you'll find that they take UHS-1 SD cards. This is a UHS-1 card, and as you can see, it's got one row of terminals. This particular one, uh, SanDisk 128 gig card, and that's all you need. If you get a V30 UHS-1 card, that's all you need for those cameras. But if you've got an X-T3 or an X-T4, and it says it takes UHS-2 cards, that's these, and they've got two sets of terminals. And that's to give a higher data through rate into these cards so they can work quicker. This particular one is a Lexar, and it's a V60. So you can get V60 cards, and you can get V90 cards. So what I thought I'd do in this test is to see in your UHS-2 compatible camera, the X-T3, X-T4, does it make any difference to go from V60 to V90? If you're using your X-T3, X-T4 mainly for stills, you do a little bit of video for yourself, for the kids or whatever, then you'll get away with a V30 card, especially a good quality one like the SanDisk. I'll even work with the 400 megabit output of the X-T3, X-T4. And yeah, even though it's a V30, it, sh it should be fine. Now the V30 stands for that it's guaranteed to accept 30 megabytes per second data. V60, 60 megabytes. V90, 90 megabytes. Now your X-T3 and X-T4, when it's in the highest setting with 400 megabits per second, that's 50 megabytes per second. So in theory, these V30s shouldn't work, but they do because they've, they've got a bit of headroom, but they're only guaranteed to do V30. So if you're doing it for yourself, a little bit of video, stills, that'll do you, they're cheap enough. But if you're doing it for somebody else, either paid or whatever, to be certain, I would use a V60 card. So if you're doing video for somebody else, V60 card, at 60 megabytes, you're only putting 50 out. That's guaranteed for that. When it comes to stills, to be honest, the V30 is fine. The only where speed, the only difference these higher speed cards will make is clearing the buffer. So if you're doing wildlife or sports where you're using high burst rates, so 30 frames a second even on the X-T3, X-T4 in electronic shutter, you fill that buffer pretty quick and you want it to clear quick. So these V60 cards will do that. But put a V90 in, will that make any difference? So what I thought I'd do, I've got my X-T3, I put it on 30 frames per second, electronic shutter, stuck the V30 card in, we fired it off until the buffer fills and the frame rate drops down to basically nothing and then I've recorded the light flashing as it clears the buffer. We can calculate the time. And then I've done it with each of these cards. And we'll see what the difference is. So let's have a look at those results.
So there we go, there's the results. And as you can see, the V60 card is considerably faster than the V30 card. But surprisingly, the V90 was slower than the V60. So we had the V30 at 20.3 seconds. And the V60 came in at 13.6. The V90 dragged behind at 17.8. Now, obviously could be a number of issue um, considerations there. It could be that the V90, what the X-T3 was chucking out to the V90 was as fast as it could throw it out. And the V90 just taking whatever it could throw out. And the, and the X-T3 was slowing down for some reason. I don't know. The, it could be any reason, but they're pretty close. So, as I say, if you're just going to use your XT3 or XT4 that uses UHS-2 cards for stills and the video is just what you want to take yourself, then a V30 card will probably do you. You'll have never, never have any problems. But if you're doing it professionally or getting paid or doing it for somebody and you want to be certain then a v60 card is the best way to go is it worth going up to v90 no there's there's no advantage there at all not in stills and certainly not in video and so that's the conclusion if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and please hit the like button because it helps the channel until next time see you later